What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Bourbon Pour. I'm Jordan. And I'm Brian. And this is another one of our blind bourbon battles. This time, um, I don't know what's in the glasses. These two are from Brian's collection. Brian, have you been enjoying these uh, blind bourbon battles up to this point? I have. I enjoy them more whenever I know what's in the glasses. But uh, no, they are a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it just you just never know uh, what what we can pull out. Right. right. Uh, if we're, if we're going to be mean to the to, right, to each right, other, right, or we're going right, to be nice. I've tried right. to be. Nice and keep everything in the same family. Yeah, right, right. Uh, so there's a, there's a, a consistency to sure. Why there's a I reason. Post. So right. I think this is a fun exercise, though. You should do this with your friends uh, at home. So um, keep them on their toes. But we're gonna dive right into this. This is glass A here. It's a pretty nice nose. Pretty traditional. Traditional nose. and not overly dense. I mean, mm -hmm. nothing's like jumping out. There's a good caramel sweetness. There's a slight, slight oak. It's almost like a fresh oak, fresh yeah, split. There's a little bit of proof that tries to get you. Uh, Sneaks right in there at the end, right? Yeah, but it's not uh, not, touch not, of, not overly proofy, yeah. but I think it's just yeah. something that yeah. it's, it's a little deceiving. Yeah, touch of baking spice with it. This is glass B. I'm messing with my mind here, but these smell they are pretty, they similar. Are pretty similar. <laughs> They're pretty similar. This one's got a little bit. This one's a little touch bit, more sweetness. Yeah, I think it's a little uh, richer. Yeah, uh, a little bit more deeper, deeper notes, but still traditional kind of nose to it. Yeah, nothing major jumps out on it. No, uh, a little. But they're all. It smells good. It's a little darker. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say like a grape or a plum, but. Mm -hmm. Some in that family, but uh, I'm gonna jump right into glass A here on the palate. Good brown sugar. Yeah, it's got a, a lot of brown sugar, a lot of spice. A lot of spice or proof. I don't know. Um, because I feel that in the chest. Mm -hmm. There might be a little bit of rye in that. And the uh, reason I say that, there's a little bit of that. Licorice kind of gum, mm -hmm. kind of a little bit of not, I wouldn't say full on mint, but something along those lines. All right, moving to glass B here. Man, that one's got less sweetness to it. And I, well, as it, the finish keeps going, it's got a nice mouthfeel to it. Yeah. It's, it's kind of not velvety, but it's got uh -huh. a coating. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, it's got a nice, but I'm not, I'm not picking up what I normally pick up with this one. Okay. Um, what do you normally pick up with this one? I can't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Darn, he didn't fall for it. He didn't fall for it. So the sweetness on this one doesn't really hit till towards the back right. and then as it finishes. Time to start making some guesses because I don't want to keep everybody waiting on me. Proof. I'm going to go 100 proof on both of them. Okay. Um. I have no idea what's in these glasses <laughs> whatsoever because nothing is sticking out. Although I just guessed 100 proof. There's a lot, of, there's a lot of them in that category. Yeah. Right? So. I'm going to guess glass B is Evan Williams, Bottled and Bond. And I have no idea what's in glass A. Um, Which one is your favorite? Favorite of the two. two. I'm going to go with glass B. I like glass B better. Um, I probably should have guessed that both of them are at 90 proof because I feel like they're at 90 proof, but um, I'm going to stick with 100. Okay. Just because I felt like glass A drank a little bit warmer mm -hmm. than, than that 90 proofish. So, all right, I'm ready for the damage. How <laughs> stupid do I look now? <laughs> oh! <laughs> all right. So, I love it. Okay, so out on the bar top are the ones that we that we did. I thought you were going to put uh, this one here. <laughs> no, no, the uh, glass A uh, was Rebel Ten Year comes in at hundred proof, so you were right, right, I was on, right that. on that. Uh, glass B is uh, the the Ten Cup Ten Year, okay. and it comes in at eighty four okay. proof. So you're a little okay. off on that one. That's quite uh, off on that. One. <laughs> but it. Uh, I did say that this one drank hotter. <laughs> yeah, and, I, and this one. 
is as a, as a spice rye spice, and I think it's a it's but it's a, a weedy, weedy it's a weed, weed, some right. sort of spice. You have that that kind of comes through. Yeah, always that's use. a really good. So what made you go with what's the connection between? They're, they're both, both they're both ten years. So okay, yeah, and the proof of obviously is not the same, but they're both ten year bourbons. Okay, uh, they're ones that you had had, but I don't think you had had very often. No, I think uh, I've only drank this one. I think I've only drank. I think I've had this one like three or four times, and this one once. So, but you know, uh, don't sleep on this tin cup. What are the prices? This is about this, this has gone up. This has gone up about ninety bucks, and this one is fifty bucks. Okay, and then how readily available? This one you should be able to find uh, most stores. This one is allocated. Okay, uh, probably going to find it uh, once, once or twice a year. A year. Okay, uh, I've gotten it every year for the last three years, and but. Like I said, it crept up. It was $69 the first couple times I bought it. And okay. this last time it was, it was 90 plus. Uh, but for the money, it's hard to beat this 10 year 10 cup. That's good. Uh, low proof, that scares a lot of people off. People think, oh, 84 proof, it's not going to taste any good. Uh, Didn't it, scare it, me today. You know, it, it's, <laughs> it holds up and it drinks well um, and, and has a lot of elements that you can get. And traditionally, and, I do like lower proof options. Maybe not always quite that low, but mm -hmm. like I do like lower proof. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of flavors in, in that. Um, I'm not surprised that I kind of couldn't pick anything up and just with these two that I, I didn't know about. So you did say that this one doesn't have the, or you weren't getting a note that you normally get with that one. What would that note be? I, I wasn't getting many notes of. Yeah. It, 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 usually it's a, a nice just traditional bourbon taste, like your your, your caramels and mm -hmm. your butterscotch. Yeah. Uh, a little oak, but honestly, like I said, I don't know what it was. And, and we've done a couple shows tonight, so maybe it was what we had prior. Right. Uh, that just kind of drew melds them together. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe that was it. Uh, but traditionally, I really love sipping on both these. I would favor the, the Rebel because I like yeah. that spicy bite yeah. that you get. Uh, but this one is, like I said, is not one to sleep on. I always, I always replace it whenever it, uh, uh, whenever I come out of that one. So I do like. Uh that sweetness that hits the back here. I think I was saying that earlier and it's still, even now that I, it's been revealed to me, it's still waiting kind of a delayed mm -hmm. sweetness, if you will. It's amazing how this one kind of drinks up in proof because it is 16 proof points lower. Um, and I still get it, not the heat, but just the flavor right. that, that it, you can, or actually it might lend to this one. Drinking a little lower, um, right. but I think you traditionally think this drinks hotter, hotter right. than hundred. But it's more, it's more the spice, I think. right? Right. Cool. So, I'm, all right. Well, that was a very good blind. I really enjoyed that because those are two that I don't visit very often. I don't have either one of those in my collection. So, um, I think that's that's a lot of fun whenever you taste stuff that you know typically is not something you can right. grab because so sometimes you don't have it. Sometimes it makes it a little harder to get a tasting elements yeah, out of them. But that's okay. You don't go too into That's okay. Too. That's the whole point of the blind. Yeah. And they're always they're always fun. So yeah. all right, well, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. We've got a whole playlist of our blind bourbon battles. So mm -hmm. uh, go and click on that uh, playlist. You can watch all of them if you need to catch up on them. But if you're returning to the channel and you've watched all of them up to this point, we sure thank you for that. So all right, we're gonna end this episode the same way that we always do, and that is when you're with your family and your friends, always Share your whiskey.